welcome to my first photo manipulation tutorial. So first, duplicate the image by dragging it to layers button. Then press shortcut key W to enable the magic wand and select this side. By the way, I am using a mouse. Then shortcut key S for clone stamp tool. Then alt click on sand area then apply it here over the sea. The setting should be in desert so we need to cover this part. We're using the clone stamp tool instead of the brush so that the texture of sand will be also be copied. In photo manipulation, texture is also important. It adds realism on the image. Later, we will add more texture here. Command or Control Z for undo. By the way, I am just using a mouse. I do have a Wacom tablet, but most beginners use mouse and this is just a simple photo manipulation. You can still use the brush but make sure the opacitant flow is reduced. By the way, we can use the open and close bracket tool to control the size of the brush or clone stamp tool and other tools in Photoshop. As you can see, I am just finishing this side, then we can go to the other side. So I just use the clone stamp tool to reduce this line. Then go to edit, then click fade, then adjust the opacity. Maybe 8 is okay. Use the loop tool then click anywhere to exit the selection. Press Y key for history brush, then reduce opacity and flow. We need to remove the excess paint here in the water drop. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of sand or paint here. Okay, that looks good. Now we are going to the other side and do the same here. Enter quick mask mode to be more precise on the selection. Paint black on the area that you don't want to be selected. White paint on area that you want to be selected. Okay, I'm going to fast forward this until I'm done painting this side. And then I will be back to you after that. Okay, done. Now we need to add more texture by adding this. Press shortcut key V, then Control Command A to select all. And place it here. Then apply a layer mask. Then press Command or Control I to make it black. Now that the crack image is masked, we need to bring back some of it here by painting it white. Now 
make sure the opacity and flow is reduced. Change the layer mode to multiply so that the crack image will blend here on the sun. Doing photo manipulation really takes long. Sometimes it took a whole day to finish it because you need to match every object that you are adding on the image and make it as one. Now we add this image here, just this part, then place it here. We do the same, apply layers mask, then command control I, paint it back here. As you can see, I am just fixing the background, adding more textures, doing photo manipulation also needs patience, and patience in watching tutorials. Now we are done working with the background. Let's now manipulate the water drop. In this image, we only need the center. Then drag it here. Reduce the opacity so that we can see where to place it. We need the center of the forest to be in the center of the water drop. Then we need to stretch its sides into something that it will look a little bit curved up or circular using warp tool. We just need the trees to be curved out. We can also use the perspective. In Photoshop, you can use different tools to play with this image. Here, I am also using Liquify. I just need to go inside and curve the trees. Now apply layer mask.
make sure airbrush is on. Paint white here at the center. Now we can see the forest. Only paint here inside the water drop. Leave a space on the edges. If you look at the layer mask, you can see the big white circle there that you painted. Experiment with the opacity and flow as needed. Here you see we are starting now to add adjustments. We are using the color balance. You can copy these numbers 0, 12, and negative 11. I will be duplicating this adjustment layer later, but first, put it here under the forest layer. This layer is for the white light here and the shadow. Then duplicate this and put above the forest layer. So I want this adjustment layer on the forest only. So if we press the slash key, you will see the area where the adjustment is visible. So I need to erase the white paint by painting it black. If I don't do this, the effect of adjustment will double on the white light and shadow. We only need a little green color under the water drop. Now we are going to paint the forest. Make sure your foreground is white. Now you can see where the adjustments are. Oops, sorry, my mouse is acting weird. Let me erase that by painting it black. Press the slash key again to exit this. Then adjust the opacity and fill of the layer by 64 and 45. Then duplicate this. Change the blend mode to color touch. Adjust the opacity and fill to 29 and 62. Apply this on under the water drop too. We want to add sunlight on the center of this. So add layer then choose orange yellow color. Paint it here. Change the color mode to linear dodge add. Add a brighter light by choosing a brighter color and paint it here at the center of the orange light. Then adjust the opacity. Since 
Since we add sunlight on the center of the forest, we now need a little bit of sunlight here on the ground by using color balance. And change the blend mode to linear touch at. Then adjust the opacity to 78. And fill to 60. Command or control I. Make sure the layer mask is selected. Then paint white on the ground. We need to compress this to another layer, so press Command or Control Alt Shift E. The reason for this is we need to use high pass. So duplicate this image and click Filter, Other, then High Pass. Eight is okay. Change the blend mode to overlay. Then add layer mask. We only need high pass applied on the forest and sand underneath. The reason we need high pass for this is because we need the forest and sand to look appear more sharper. We also need to add more focus on this water drop. Now compress this again to a new layer, then press color look up, then choose Fuji Eterna 250D product. Then lower the opacity and fill to both 86. So because of the color look up adjustment, I think the structure and the texture of the forest and the sand underneath it is reduced. So we need to bring it back by using the high pass again. We don't need a new high pass filter. We can just use this again and drag it here above this. Because we already merged the effect of this high pass earlier into a new layer.